welcome to Astrobarbie. I'm in a good mood. I am the Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, and we love you. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in beautiful Libra, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You're beautiful and amazing, and we wish you the best. The moon this week will travel in the sign of Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. On Monday, we have a non-compromising new moon in Libra, opposing there in Uranus, a planet of change, helping us to find new ways to make things work, negotiate new terms, establish new rules, or do the right thing, even throw the towel if some cases, and it's all going to be good. All for the better good of everyone, ourselves and other people. So let's get ready also for some shocking news, unexpected surprises in the media, in politics. Big news also this week, Sunday the Libra Sun moves into his last face-off with electric Uranus for, you know, a few days, bringing sudden shakeups in our personal lives and also in politics, in the media, in world affairs, we can benefit also from someone else's helping us to do what we cannot do ourselves. So it's a good week to ask and we shall receive. Be, be forced out of our comfort zone is what the stars say. Don't go for the comfort zone, just go out of the box and be brave. Somehow it's a week also to make the necessary changes that we've been waiting for, let's do it. The opposition also can also make some leaders push the envelope a little bit too crazy, trying to impose their will in a dictatorship way. But it's okay, karma is always there. Thursday, there will be a meetup between dynamic Mars, planet of energy, and optimistic Jupiter in Virgo presently. So it's very important because it occurs only once every two years providing us with enthusiasm, hope, high energy, and a, an ability to go quick, quick, and fast. And it's time now to be the best we could be and to be on the right side of history. If you're not, make a switch, because that's the only way to be, because what goes around comes around. And also, uh, that same day, Mars, planet of energy, and Jupiter will also trine. It's a very good aspect. And with powerful Pluto, the planet of all world affairs and politics, expanding our options and helping us to make good choices for the better good of us, the people we love in the world. So it's a pretty interesting week, I like it. Libra, let me start with you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, cutie. Mars and Jupiter meeting up in your financial sector bring you luck and also admiration from other people. Partnerships are favored, so work on your project and make it happen. A new association can bring extra money. Take care of yourself and rebuild your life, make a fresh start. People also find you very attractive. If you're single, you should go out, you could meet someone. Whatever you do, set your standards high, raise the bar, be original and innovative. Your success is guaranteed on the weekend. Cupid is sending you arrows of tenderness. Ouch, that's gonna be good. It hurts so good. Your magical color lilac, like in numbers, one and 10. Scorpio, Scorpio, positive change and personal victories in the air. Mars, one of your rulers, meeting up with lucky Jupiter in your social sector brings great news in your profession. Justice and blessings come out of nowhere. Be ready for a new perspective and also recognition. Peace. A higher position or promotion or victory or a legal matter that ends in your favor awaits. On the weekend, romance makes you an offer you cannot refuse. Well, you should take a break and make love this weekend. Your magical color red, lucky like numbers 2 and 11. Sagittarius, active Mars meeting up with and your ruler planet Jupiter in your career sector bring you success in all the projects you undertake. And somehow you're going out of the box and you are daring and I love it. Working with other people bring the best results. Don't do it alone. You attract also new information that could help you really uh, finish a special project the way you want it. You discover also the true intentions in a love relationship. Follow your hunches and whatever you do, do your researches. And on the weekend, you should listen to the advice of an Aries, Gemini, and Cancer. Your magical color, red, like in numbers 3 and 21. Capricorn. 
Somehow active Mars meeting up with lucky Jupiter in your sector, really, really smiling at Pluto in your sign brings a, a somehow a new way of looking at things. It makes you lucky and popular and you are now on the path of many blessings and rewards in career, in love, with family. You can also gain financially from a relationship. Social life also booming, accept all invitations. Your perseverance, my dear, is now starting to pay off. On the weekend, you should celebrate. Your magical color, blue, lucky numbers 4 and 22. Where yes, active Mars meeting up with lucky Jupiter definitely bring uh, power, versatility, innovation. Venus entering your work sector brings creativity and a possible romance at the workplace or if you're traveling. So if you're single, you should go out this week. Creative projects are favored. Don't spread yourself too thin. Follow your curiosity and do ask questions because you will have answers. A positive case will fall into place in your personal life, especially on the weekend. So you'll see, uh, we'll see clearly now, the clouds are gone. That's for you on the weekend. Your magical color, pink lucky numbers, 5 and 41. Pisces, somehow dynamic Mars meeting up with lucky Jupiter, definitely brings romantic sector, very much full of joy, and it also enhances your creativity and good fortune. For the next five months, you will be able to express your wonderful creativity, uniqueness, and artistic talents. And if you're in business, you'll make money. The unknown will fascinate you all week. You see the light at the end of the tunnel, and it makes sense. And in career also, big boost in health, higher energy. Group activities are very, very, very favored, so don't stay home and do show your beautiful stuff everywhere. On the weekend, it's romantic and joyful, your magical color, pink lucky numbers, 6 and 33. Aries, well, your ruling planet Mars meeting up with lucky Jupiter definitely brings some hope and good luck and a feeling of independence, you're self-sufficient, you're very curious and good in business, you could close a deal. And maybe you need to put a little bit more attention on the details, so give it all 100%. In your career, you will be able to see the truth and make fabulous contacts and meet incredible people that could really help you. Traveling favorite, studies also, you could uh, have good marks. And on the weekend, romance is in the air. Capricorn, Cancer, and Taurus also give you a new way of looking at, at things and you like it. Your magical color orange, like in numbers four and eight. Taurus, you're very sort of cool this week. You look fabulous. The exciting Mars meeting up with Jupiter somehow bring you wings. And also, good fortune and some kind of the ways in your psyche to convince other people. Whatever you want this week, you'll get it. Financial picture, definitely better and better. You could get a breakthrough in a project and you are delighted because you could receive that email, that phone call, or that letter, and you go like, wow, I deserve it. The full moon makes you believe in yourself more than ever, so confident is strong, and on the weekend, you should celebrate how far you have gone. Cancers, other Taurus and Leos, care. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers, five and 23. Play lottery. Gemini's, active Mars, meeting up with lucky Jupiter, bring a somehow good news, an ideal time, to speculate for investments, also to make more money, to sell, to buy. You attract also beautiful people that could really give you a good hand. You feel closer to your family and friends or loved one. Shared resources, insurances, investment, legal affairs, all favored all week. On the weekend, smile, smile, smile because the world is watching you. You're not invisible, everybody sees you. Your magical color, yellow, lucky number six and 33. Cancers, your energy is high and vibrant. Your beautiful Mars meeting up with Lucky Jupiter gives you a boost in career. You have a voice. Be a leader, take initiative, and you're going to start doing things in a different way. Maybe behind the scenes, then in front of the scenes, that's going to make sense. Get ready for a fresh start with new brilliant ideas, recognitions of the talents, and you have other people to work with you. You are surrounded by supporters. That means go for it all. For the next month, get ready for extra work, lots of responsibilities, but accomplish amazing things. On the weekend, you will see 
uh, like a little light about your future and realize that after all, wow, you do have a fabulous highest destiny. You do. I'm a cancer. I do. Your magical color pink, lucky number 7 and 24. Leo, this is a goal oriental kind of week. Mars meeting up with lucky Jupiter definitely brings you confidence, optimism, and also you attract famous, prestigious people or situations. Use diplomacy and charm and humbleness to get what you want. This is a fabulous time to solidify your base and to take the lead, to delegate, and maybe to sign a contract and career. Make sure to keep some time for yourself and revise all your plans before you sign anything important. At the weekend, relax, enjoy good food, nice drinks, just relax. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 8 and 10. The fair goes the full moon and Venus in your relationship sector brings blessing, friendships and love. You have higher energy, you're more solid than ever and confident, you get things done like a pro, finish what you start and get ready for the new this week. Somehow a money situation will turn in your favor and therapy, new hobbies, learning, studies, surgeries, beauty treatments, travel, all favored. And on the weekend it's time to flirt because Cupid has an eye on you. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers, 9 and 36. You should play lottery. And now here's your wizard affirmation of this fabulous week. Whatever we are feeling is the reflection of what it is in the process of becoming. So remember that you choose to feel, think, and positive thoughts because that's what you're going to manifest in the future. I love you guys. Angel and I, we send you love. Be good now. Tell me, Jojo